live. It seemed two seconds ago and seems to send. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make a LoRaWAN end node using this Arduino Mega in small form factor and this LoRa module. This is an RF96 which is also based on XX1276 of Semtech. For the antenna, I will just use this antenna from a GSM module which is optimized for 900 MHz. By the way, I'm using this for 868 MHz and I don't have the right antenna right now so this one is a good alternative or should be enough. This Arduino Mega is the same with this one but just in a small form factor. For us to have a Loro one solution we need a gateway. This gateway is based on RAC which is RAC2243 and this gateway concentrator should be connected to a Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi 4 will be the, the processor that will control this LoRaWAN gateway. I will connect it to the Things network so our end node here which is based on at Mega should be able to send data to the Things network. It's a good and interesting IoT project so let's start working on our end node. Before we do our work on the end nodes, we need to ensure first that our gateway is online. We need to go in this website and then create an account. Once we got an account, we can register our gateways here. So now, I'm checking if my gateway is online. It's actually online here. The library that we're going to use is this, Arduino Elmic library. Elmic stands for LoRa Mac in C. You can have this on this link. The, we have to install it on our Arduino. To do that, we need to click this and download zip. Then, click save here. Then, we can now go on our Arduino. Now that we're here in Arduino, we can click on sketch, then include library, and click add zip library. Then, we can go on the, on the downloads and click on the Arduino Elmic master the zip. Then it will, the Arduino will now attempt to add that library. Then you will see here that library added to your libraries. Check include library menu. Now that the library is added, we can now click on file and then examples. The examples we can go on Elmic Arduino and then click on TTN ABP. There are a few things that we need to modify here so that we can connect it to the things network. First are the keys, the network session key and the application session key. This should we should get this from the Things network. Also, we need to copy the device address from the Things network. After that, we need to configure the I/O pins that we use on our Arduino. On Arduino Mega, we're going to use pin 53 for the slave select, and then we can just ignore first the reset pin. So we can just unuse this and then we will just retain pin 2, 3, and 4 for the DIO. To put a summary on how we're going to connect it on our Arduino Mega, these are the connections. The VCC, the ground, and then the 2, 3, 4, the DIO, the slave select, and then the SPI lines, the clock, the MOSI, and the MISO. On our Arduino Mega, we directly connect it to the here on our SX1276 or the RF96 but if you don't if your Arduino Mega is not converted to 3.3 volts operation you just need to use a logic level shifter because the Arduino Mega is operating at 5 volts this is how my Arduino Mega with the LoRaWAN end node looks like as you see there are wires here because I need to convert this Arduino Mega from 5 volts to 3.3 volts operation because our LoRaWAN end node here operates at 3.3 volts. After that I just follow the wirings that I told on the presentation. Just ignore the sensors here because that's not part of my discussion yet but I will put a different video on that. The details on how I convert this Arduino Mega board to 3.3 volts operation will be on the link down below. Now let's go back here on the Things Network 
and go on now on applications. Now I have here the application. And as you see, I already have a device here, one device on the application. We need to copy the credentials of this device, the device address, the network session key, and the application session key. By the way, our activation method is ABP. You have to ensure that by going on settings and then clicking this ABP and then click save. But for now, it's already ABP, so we can proceed on our next step by copying these credentials. So we need to copy this device address by clicking this. You can go back here under the Arduino IDE and we can put that here. Okay. Next to copy are the session keys. Let's copy first the application session key, but we need to put this in this format. Then let's copy that. We can now go back to Arduino. So we can copy that here. Yeah, copy this. Go back to Arduino and then you can just copy that all. Select that all and then paste. Now, next is the network session key. Let's go back here on the things network. Click this, then you copy that. Go here. Next is the network session keys. I now connect the Arduino Mega with the LoRa module, and then let's now select our board, the Arduino Mega. So board Arduino Mega. Then let's select the proper port. Port. Then this is the port of my Arduino Mega. And now let's try to upload this. Oops, by the way, let's change the interval into 10 seconds so that we can see that the device is sending every 10 seconds. Let's click upload. The device is actually sending a dummy data, which is hello world. Let's wait for the compilation to complete. Now it's done uploading, we can now check the serial monitor if it's actually sending it. Okay, we can now go back on the things network and see if our device is live. Status is live. It seemed two seconds ago and seems to send frames ideally every 10 seconds. Okay, let's see here the data. It's actually sending. Yeah, it's actually sending. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. And I have more videos about LoRa 1. This is just the first step. And our end node is now connected on the Things Network network server. Bye-bye.